Happening right now, the entire island of Jamaica is in the crosshairs of a massive hurricane. Barrel remains at a category four strength and could be the first major hurricane to hit that island in the month of July. Barrel's quick development from tropical depression to major hurricane left those in its path with little time to get out. Now today we're hearing from tourists who suddenly found themselves with no choice but to ride out the storm. And that includes a member of the 6ABC News team, Alicia Vitarelli, joining us now in studio with her story. Alicia. Action News producer, our friend Stephanie Kirk and her fiance arrived in Montego Bay on Saturday for their dream vacation. I had a chance to Zoom with them in Jamaica earlier today. Steph says that dream vacation has turned into a nightmare at this very moment. She says the winds are whipping, the rain is heavy, the ocean is angry, and they are hunkered down in their hotel room riding out this hurricane. This was a, a trip of a lifetime that we could have never predicted would have ended up with a hurricane. Action News producer Stephanie Kirk and her fiance Nick Gruber are vacationing in Montego Bay, celebrating their engagement. We got here on Saturday. Beautiful weather. We're staying in the over the water bungalows. Everything was perfect. That all changed yesterday when Hurricane Barrel's path took aim at Jamaica. We started to panic and we started to try to find ways to get out of here. We obviously called all the airlines. Every single flight was booked. There was I mean, nothing. They even tried to charter a flight. Of course, sure they couldn't get it approved. So now they ride it out. Their resort has boarded up and the guests are hunkering down. Just stay in your rooms and yeah. just stay away from the glass. They said they'll go around individually and knock on your doors and say when it's safe to come out. Honeymooners Casey and Warner Haley from Tennessee are also in Montego Bay. They went to the airport attempting any way to escape and every single one of them told us there is no way off this island. The grocery stores bare. And again, seeing out of a doomsday movie, and so we were not able to get any supplies there, and so we have found what we could at our resort and are ready to hunker down. As to when both couples can return home, all depends on the damage Hurricane Barrel leaves behind. If the airport closes, if the roads are flooded, we can't get anywhere, like we may be stuck here for who knows how long. And only time will tell. By the way, Steph also wanted to thank our meteorologists here at 6ABC. They have been checking in on her. They have been tracking Beryl's path for her. All of this, you guys, as she's on this vacation with her fiance. Wow. They said it started out so beautiful, so magical. And now, they're, right now, at this very moment, they're in their room. They have to stay there for a few hours while the storm passes. And hopefully, they can oh. get home. We need yes. her back here at work. Yeah, we've all been okay. checking in. We've all been worried about her. For sure. She all comes out. And all works out. Yeah. Fingers crossed, Alicia. Get back yes. safely. Yeah, thanks, Alicia.